Hello faithful viewers and welcome back to another Transformers review. This time we're looking at the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Road Rocket from the Speedia 500 subline I do believe. Yes, Road Rocket here might look slightly familiar because this is the highly controversial mould that was used for a new version of Prime RC. And it's controversial because as RC it's terrible. It is fundamentally terrible. But as Road Rocket, whom RC was probably a pre-tool for, it's not as bad. Strangely, despite it being essentially the same figure for both, just the sheer difference in terms of character, head sculpt and paint, makes Road Rocket here so much better. So she transforms into a motorcycle. I don't know what type of motorcycle this is meant to be based off. Um, it's primary red is her colour which I like that. I like the combination of the red and the black we've got going on here. There's some darker, deeper royal blue at the, uh, the rear end of the bike right there. The front end of the bike, there's two massive lights situated in the front there, translucent blue windscreen. You've got handlebars and you've got some molding for like dials and stuff. Uh, she rolls pretty decently. She's got a kickstand so that she can stay like that without toppling over. Looks a bit peculiar in the fact that you've got this hump of a thing, but you know, the legs and torso and all of that have got to go somewhere. Speaking of which, is it obvious what becomes what? Well, the hands are just poking out the back there, so I'd say yes. And if you know RC or if you know just bike forms in general, then you can determine that the legs are going to be there. But where's the head? Uh, well, I mean, it's poking through the gap there. So yeah, it's kind of obvious what becomes what, but hey ho, again, it's a bike former. What can you do? So this is the only accessory that Road Rocket comes with, which on the outset looks like a blue disc. And it's meant to be like a ninja star because you can see the X here. Now, I don't think many people clock that the way you're meant to envision this is just the black bit. You're meant to pretend as if the translucent blue doesn't actually exist. Uh, we won't attach this in vehicle mode because it looks dumb, uh, but you are able to, you know, plug it into the back there. Um, there's a much better storage option in robot mode for this. And we'll, we'll demonstrate everything else that you can use this for when we get to that. So to transform Road Rocket into robot mode, she actually does some very interesting things with her transformation sequence, which was appealing enough for me to actually want a version of this mold. So you can do the whole transformation by keeping the front tire attached and keeping all of this apparatus attached here. And we're going to attempt to do that. You might see a lot of reviewers just disconnect them for ease of transformation from the get go. But I want to demonstrate the least amount of parts forming that's possible. So the first thing we want to do is detach the side panels like so. It's kind of a flimsy connection. They don't really hold together all that well just because all of this is kind of like a, a gobbledygook mess of parts just flimsily holding together. And similarly, we might find that we accidentally just flick this off with minimal effort and we probably will in just a second. So we spread them out and then pinning all of this together, we're just going to move it all up and out of the way, just like that. Now we're going to do the typical bike form of thing of getting our nails in and splitting the back tire like that and just fanning them out. Now this is the interesting part that I was going on about because the legs, the feet are not this bit, the feet are this bit, and they've wrapped themselves around the entire torso in like a massive yoga pose. That's quite unique. So we're just going to unravel all of this here whilst taking the lower torso and trying to bring that out like so. Unravel the legs, keeping them out like that. Coming to the back of the bike, we're going to split that there and just bring the shoulders up into place and they should just tab in, he says. There we go, that one's in, and then that one's in, just like that. And then we can, forearms here, we can just take these red pieces and push them up. And that's the arms fully transformed. And you can see that she's starting to come together now. Coming back to the lower torso, we wanted to keep it like this just for a second, and we want to rotate the lower torso 180 degrees, spread the legs and then take this crotch piece, fan it up and just like that and then push the rest of the torso in 
until it clicks just like that and then you might find it's very floppy here that's just the nature of the joint it shouldn't untap itself though it's reasonably secure it's probably the most secure thing out of all of this now with the legs here we want to bring the shin guards forward and they should tab in at the knees like that same thing on this one taps and then bring the tires down disgustingly to the outside of the legs unfold the feet like so that's the base robot done so we're just clearing up this backpack now so we want to spin this 180 somewhere or other <laughs> it's just remembering exactly where the joint is ah uh, where is it where is it okay it's at that bit let's try and plug this back in because i swear i'm going to demonstrate this without parts forming if i can rotate that 180 like so the joint is around about there and then you can hinge all of this down collapsing it all on itself just like that and that's a version of road rocket basically complete and i say a version because there's sort of different styles of robot mode that you can portray with this um this is how if this was the rc version then this is how you would portray the figure this is how she's meant to be transformed but this is road rocket that we're talking about so there's a few extra steps well not a few extra steps there's really only one other thing that we need to do and this unfortunately is where parts forming comes into it so come back to the back here and rip off this tire just like so and it's meant to be able to do that because it's actually an accessory in itself or at least it's meant to be you split the tire like so and we'll, we'll very briefly talk about it because it's it's a bit dumb it, this is meant to be like a gun of some kind like a double barrel gun or alternatively it's meant to be a drone of some kind it looks a bit crap for that purpose doesn't it the best place to put it is if we bend all of this back here there is a circular port just behind the head so you just want to be plugging her in and that ladies and jelly beans is road rocket fully transformed now the robot mode looks pretty good specifically for road rocket again if this was rc and i'm going to keep reiterating it it doesn't work the proportions are all sorts of wrong for that character but for road rocket here pretty nice okay so let's have a look at the head sculpt in greater detail and I'm, I'm unfamiliar with this character to be honest so i'm assuming that this is accurate i believe she's from g2 but again i'm not entirely sure it's either g2 or it's go boss and i honestly don't know but she's got this kind of ninja aesthetic i believe going on here with her face you've got like an Optimus prime sort of faceplate going on uh basic black head and she's got the piping of the light so switch off the lights and let's demonstrate that and that looks like pretty good light piping to me her eyes are nice and shiny so very much appreciate that so continuing to look at the rest of the figure there's a nice autobot symbol just below the chin um one of the controversies surrounding the rc version of this was like the chest it's very boxy she was very g oneified and again this works for road rocket because she is in that continuity family uh the arms are kind of boxy as well you've got the shell of the rear end of the bike seat on there uh, and then you've got these very very kibbly legs and again for our series doesn't work because they're meant to be inside the lower legs whilst they're just hanging very limply off the sides here it's a very kibbly messy kind of look and i wish i wish i wish they'd have found a way to get them on the insides um but i suppose they have to be like this because of the way that the legs transform and i actually like the way that the legs transform don't get me wrong i like that but it just leaves the overall profile looking a little bit untidy and uh, another tires behind there like that that is a uh, a road rocket kind of thing hence why i put them like that and that actually looks quite nice but when you turn the figure around yeah there's all of that kibble now granted you can remove it you absolutely can and thank goodness you can but at the same time blur so overall look is it's so so 
We'll very briefly touch upon this again. So, if we want to somehow, without absolutely destroying our workstation here, split this apart, and then you can, if I'm in focus, hang on a second, there we go, pop that in like that, and then you can do it on the other arm. I'm only going to demonstrate it on this one arm here because it looks awful. It looks absolutely awful. Now, I know I, I said earlier that you're meant to just try and disregard the blue and pretend it's just the black coming out of there. It still looks a bit rubbish, doesn't it? So I'm never going to display her with those on. Fortunately, there's a better thing that you can do with these, apart from just throwing them away. You can reconnect them and then come to the underside here and where the front tire was originally stored, you can, at a slight angle, store this nice and neatly underneath. I may just need to fan them out slightly, but you can plug that in like that with those bits angled diagonally, reattach that, and that's actually pretty good weapon storage. Coming to articulation then, Road Rocket's head is capable of doing a 360 degree swivel. She can look up only about that far and she can't really look down. So there's a tiny little bit of wiggle waggle there, but not too much. At the shoulders, they are capable of doing 360 degrees of rotation, but just because of the way I've got all the kibble assorted, she can't do that as is right now. You can spread her arms out that far. There's a rotation of 360 via the mushroom peg at the bicep. She has a 90 degree bend at the elbow and at the fist, she actually does have rotation. It can only go well, actually, it can do 360 degrees in a particular rotation, so that's good. She is capable of rotating her waist ever so slightly, uh, but you do need to kind of do like a back crunch with her. Uh, but when you try and rotate the waist, it does disconnect the torso. And uh, one of the things that I was saying earlier about QC issues, within five minutes of having her, I actually bisected her and it's friction tab that allows the torso to stay together. It's a little bit fiddly to get it back in one piece. I did it. So I wouldn't recommend you really utilizing any waist rotation with her because you'll probably break the figure in two and it'll be a little bit tricky just to get her back in place. At the legs, four kick of that high, back kick of that high. You've got a little bit of inward and outward due to a ball joint at the hip. Beautiful spread. At the knee, good over, well, yeah, Good 90 degree bend at the natural knee, and then you can disconnect the shin area there, do that. And then you've got at the feet, a little bit of toe wiggle waggle and a little bit of inward and outward rocker. Overall articulation is pretty good. You can't complain about that. Just beware of the waist, move in the wrong direction and you may split her in half. For comparisons then, this is the big one and we'll start with this. Here is Road Rocket, aka Legacy RC, next to the Forebearer. Here is Prime First Edition RC. And yeah, this one's better, absolutely, hands down. And we will probably compare these in greater detail in the Versus video at some point down the line. But that's generally how they look together. Here is Deluxe Road Rocket next to Voyager Kingdom Cyclonus. Here's Legacy Deluxe Road Rocket next to Studio Series Deluxe Dino. And here she is with Mysterio. To transform Road Rocket back into motorcycle mode, what we want to be doing for a start is coming to the underside and just removing the weapons and discarding them. We'll come back to it at the very end. Now, we want to be coming to the back again, but this time to the top. This might have a tendency to fall off. Now you can transform her with this still fully attached to the back and we will try to do so, but we'll just remove it just for a second because it fell off on its own and come to the tires here and rip them out. Now we do need to rip these out because they go in a different location. And let's just tap this back on, take the tires, connect them like that. And then we are going to tap them in where the blue weapons were basically tapped in. So on the underside of the front end of the bike, and we're just plugging it in right there with the lip facing forward like so. And then try not to rip it off again as I just did, but hinge all of this up and away and rotate all of this apparatus round 
180 degrees so that the tire is now facing up and it's going to keep wanting to pop off but that's just because of the way I'm gripping it and basically just have it all up something like that that's roughly where it's all going to end up when it's all fully transformed now for the rest of the figure we want to detach it for waist like unclipping it like that bring it back and then rotate the waist 180 like so so now she's back to front like that and disconnect the arms at the shoulders keeping all of this up with the forearms we're going to push up the fist and at the same time bring the red parts down just like that and then just keep collapsing the arms in and tap all of that together starting to fully form now the bike is let's just get that out like that and then with the legs we want to bring the tires out like that fold up the feet disconnect at that knee joint and then we are basically going to wrap all of this around the torso but before we do i'm just remembering oh that fell off again whoop -de day uh, take the crotch piece fold it down and through the legs just like that we'll reattach this at the end because it's just going to keep falling off so wrap the legs round like that close up the tires so it's a very particular way that we do tab in it's not just any old way you need to line up with tabs perfectly there we go just like that to so make sure that she's still you know roughly in place and come to this bit because this bit unfortunately is the bit that's going to keep it all held together so make sure that's tabbed in the front and then bring the flaps round and there's two points that they peg in there's a tab there which goes into a slot there and then there is the rectangular horizontal tab just underneath so plug that in there and it's really the horizontal tab which is the key one i found and it's just a case of trying to line that all up there we go that's that side in and then this side will follow suit very nicely that's for vehicle mode basically, uh, utilise the kickstand, push that down, pop her there, so that's for vehicle mode and then as for this weapon storage, technically you can plug it into the back but that's naff, get rid of that, and there you go, Road Rocket transformed. So overall thoughts on Road Rocket here and this mould, it works as this character and the mould itself upon reflection isn't too terrible there's a couple of qc issues with the fact that all the panels just fall off without any trouble whatsoever and you are capable of actually breaking the figure in half with minimal effort but the transformation sequence is actually fairly unique and i quite like it it's just a shame that the profile is besotted with lots of unnecessary kibble especially in the legs which really put the mold down now as road rocket and any other version of this specific character i know there's like a white and sickly vomit yellow version whose name i forget um they're good as i see and i'll keep saying it no so i wouldn't recommend the original legacy rc version of this but as road rocket you know what yeah so thank you everybody so much for stopping by and checking out this review. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and share it around to help out the channel. And until the next time, see you all later.